In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the tape simulator to add analog tape distortion to your drum mix. So we have instances of the tape simulator effect on our kick and snare bus, and they're both at the default settings. We'll leave those alone, and we will add an instance of the tape simulator plugin to the output channel. Now what I want to do is add drive or subtract drive and simultaneously adjust the output. So as we increase drive, we increase the tape distortion, but we also increase the volume. So I want to compensate by lowering the output volume of the tape simulator plugin. To do this, I'll right click on the drive and we'll bind this to a macro. We'll do the same thing for the output volume. If I open up my macro controls, we have the drive and level adjustments. And if I bring back my tape simulator plugin and I make adjustments to my macro parameter, as I increase the drive, the output is increasing as well. So I'm going to invert the level output. So as I increase the drive, it will decrease. Now with the drive all the way off, I want the level output to be zero. So basically this is no effect. As I turn up the drive, it's turning down the output. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like. So this allows us to quickly adjust the tape distortion effect from the tape simulator plugin by adjusting the drive and level output at the same time. Now once we find a drive level we like, we can also adjust the bias, speed, and the wow and flutter to taste. So there's a lot of flexibility within the tape simulator plugin, not only for adding tape style distortion, but you can adjust the sound of that distortion and the sound of the tape simulator effect using the bias, the speed, and the wow and flutter settings.